Ugh. Fuck. Mahalo everybody, Big Daddy here, Big Dick Ballistics, coming at you today with the Mirror Safety CM6M APR, air purifying respirator. Uh, before we get into it, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you hear what's going on with the newest content from us. Also, our merch, Jobs Dead, check it out. It's right in our link tree. We'll have our new website up and running soon, so you can check that out. So, Rep BDB, whatever you buy off there, goes right back into the channel for you. So, with the good intention of putting this out there for the Larperator community, because I've used these at work multiple times, not these in particular, but MSAs, um, Scott's, both Apper, Papper, uh, Level A, B, and C suits, um, there's got to be an affordable option out on the market for somebody that wants, you know, some kind of like full face protection uh, from any kind of like sea burn or CS, OC spray, pepper spray, for those of you who don't know what that means. This whole pandemic thing got everybody shaken up and the market really came out. I know Drager did as well as Mira Safety with affordable gas mask options for everybody. Now also in that LARPerator community, and no, I'm not ranking on Anybody that LARPs, because if you're training, you're LARPing, right? Unless you don't have any affiliation with any kind of law enforcement or military, but that's neither here nor there. I still respect and love all of you. But there's stuff out there like the Air Boss Low Burden Gas Masks, right? And they're awesome, but they're wildly expensive. Um, too expensive, in my opinion. And then when you get into the accessories and the voice amplifiers, you're looking at over you know, a grand, you know, closer to two to get the whole kit and caboodle. Um, so you might as well just join the military, right? But no, they have this option out here for mirror safety. It's about $200 and we're going to open it today. I didn't open it yet. Uh, this one comes with a drinking reservoir. It's basically a USGI canteen. Um, I've read in some of the reviews that, hey, it comes with the canteen, but there's no hookup for it. So we'll check it out. So... Basically, you're getting this. Now, they come in two sizes, and it's not a small, medium, large, or anything like that. It's just a one-size-fits-all and a youth. So, it comes basically like this, and I haven't opened it yet, and it comes with some literature and a canteen. So, naturally, as a man, I'm going to throw the box down, fuck the literature and the canteen, right? And we're going to open this up. So, automatically, it's in some nice plastic. Um... It's almost like hermetically sealed. It's got some foam over it. So, I'm just gonna be a fucking man. Rip this shit open. And we got some foam. And now, I don't know anybody that's owned any one of these. So, this is a first for me. Um, first thing I see right now, I see a decent sized face piece. And I see a decent sized head retention strap so that's cool i like that uh like i said i used msas at work for a while like the rest of the good old nypd um when we did cobra and when they got rid of cobra for all the units um basically they left us with those cobra masks and we used them for disorder control and stuff like that and they worked well and eventually these things would dry right out this looks nice. Looks like there's some even dispersion back there. Uh, nice piece of netting mesh for the back of your head. So inside, like any other gas mask, and I'll stage it to where it's that ready position right here. So you could don and doff it fairly quick. Let's do that. So we have a chin cup. We have some valves, and we have a drinking straw right there. Okay, now usually they could be adapted for some kind of uh, one of those black water systems, black hook, old school, like hydrostorm systems or a camelback or whatever. But that's what you'd move and you'd kick it over with your tongue in order to get into your mouth and you could drink. Um, the field of view looks pretty good. I don't want to take put it on and take it off until you guys see everything but it does look pretty good um right over here is that nozzle for drinking and that tube is there 
So whoever said that there's no tube with it, they might be wrong unless I'm wrong. But we're gonna see one of two things right now uh, as we put it on. They talked about a diaphragm on here that allowed for ease of use while talking, communicating. Now my Millennium Mask, my MSA, that had an external voice amplifier as well as the Airbus, um, big money. The MSA one was about 300 and the Airbus one I think is about 600 to 1,000. I don't really remember, I don't really care. But we're gonna try this on for the first time with you guys and see how it fits, um, see the look, see the feel. Now I did get two filters for this. I got the P can, the Papa can, um, that's for CS, OC, uh, so pepper spray, right? Disorder control and stuff like that. The affordable option, they were about $36 each, but they're sold out everywhere, and that's because probably they're so cheap. Then I got one of their Seaburn ones. Seaburn stands for chemical, radiological, biological. Listen, you can have all that Seaburn stuff. Again, if you don't have adequate filters and decontamination, you're fucked. It's basically a gimmick. Eventually, this stuff goes bad anyway, and that's the stuff we would train with and whatnot. So, if you're not set up with a whole warehouse full of this shit <laughs> somewhere in the middle of the desert, you're going to get contaminated no matter what, and it's going to be a bad day. So, now, my only thing I didn't account for back in the day when I trained with these things on was this poodle's ass right here coming off of my chin. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and don this. And we'll see how it fits. We'll see how it looks. My check, my check. Oh, uh, so it has a good look to it. I don't know if you guys could see. It does have a good look. It does have a good feel. It has a nice field of view. I'm going to get into that in a minute. What I want to know. As long as you guys could hear me, what I want to know, and it's got a good draw too, with the uh, without the filters on there. So I'm anxious to see too with the filters how it works. So I'm going to sacrifice the pecan, the thirty-six dollar one for this. I want to know if the filters are swappable, depending on what you're using, because we're going to bring out some rifles with some different height uh, mounts, and we're going to play with them just to see how shouldering this thing is. Also, I have a hard-headed veteran's bump, as well as my fast helmet, my work helmet. So we're gonna check these out, but again, nice field of view, and they sell an interior lens kit for this. And yeah, I mean, that's in line with all the other high-end guys. So why not? So let's check this out. So guys, as you can see, these pee cans, all right, they come hermetically sealed. We'll crack this one open for you. Um, it's a little bit slimmer than the Seaburn can, and it's got a expiration date of December of 2030. So, these come with these classic NATO threads that everybody else has. There's no tearing spot. So let's to rip this open, or not rip this open. <laughs> I have to find something to open this shit. Alright, so I got that off. Basically, you have your cap with your NATO threading on here. That's basically common with any gas masks out there. Uh... It's a solid resin body, um, has storage instructions on it. Again, once you crack this thing, it's basically done, but again, I'm gonna do it for you guys, so. Now, one cool thing that I brought up, which I'm gonna share, ease of use, all right, filter use, okay? So, we could put on one single filter, all right? It's set up out of the box from the factory uh, for use on the right-hand side. As a righty shooter, I'm not gonna want that. Okay, but I looked in here and there's threading and on the other side it looks like there's a screw and Voila, all right with a gasket on it so we could change it up So now my shooting could go from some kind of righty cheek weld to a lefty one. So Now my seal isn't gonna be that good, but I'm liking this thing already. I'm telling you right now So let me don this thing again for you guys in the name of science and America. Got that back on. Pepper, pepper, pepper. All right, we remove this. You guys heard that audible like hiss, okay? This thing is vacuum sealed. I'm gonna save this just because, fuck it, I'm gonna have to use it for training now. If I can lop around. 
And then there you go. So I'm going to put this on blindly using the camera right in front of me. Let's see if I can get that on. Let's see how it is now. All right, even with my beard, all right, I'm getting a decent amount of suction, no leak. All right, that's pretty good. Still, obviously, if you're going to operate in some kind of, like, seaburn, hazmat, fucking nasty area, you know, shave, all right, do as the firemen do. That's pretty cool. Now, potentially, you probably could put two filters on. Um, I don't know if that would do anything for you, but this thing is pretty good. I mean, I have a good field of view, good field of vision. So we're going to put a little bit of kit on now. And we're going to check this out. And I'm going to show you some different positional work with the long guns that you could apply to this. And it'll work better. Now, they do have an APR. Let me take this off so you can hear me better. They do have an APR, an APR. Um, kind of like what you see in some of those biohazard movies. Right before they're wearing the Scott Pack. All right, The self-contained breathing apparatus. It's a belt with... A battery pack and two of these filters on it and what it does is it's powered by batteries and it pushes air through all right that creates positive pressure in there so if you did have a seal break all right you wouldn't have any contaminant getting in there also it keeps the thing from fogging up as much you'll see if you start running and gunning with something like this on it's awful it fogs up a lot even in the coldest of days um oh You'll be getting ice in your gloves and stuff like that. And the rest of you will be fogging up and it's nasty. So let's throw on a rig. Uh, Moonlight Industries sent me a new rig. So we're going to check that out right now. As this is the Com Skunk Rig Gen 2. Um, Jason from Moonlight Industries was awesome. He shipped me this out on the arm. Uh, he said, try it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, show the guys at work. So basically... It's got some kind of extra stitching in it, and it's got some laser cut molly in the front, and it reinforces the pouch. So when you go to reinsert your mags for whatever reason, they stay open, and they're honestly a dream to reholster and take out. Um, so I think bravo to them on their part. I have the original stuff, and I actually used it on a daily basis at work, and it was awesome. Just the regular straight up low pro bands. Um, I was wearing them on a plate carrier with Swift Clips. I made it work for me. Um, this is awesome. I feel like the weight is more evenly distributed because this is a little more of a true chest rig and not just like a placard. Um, it's a little bit wider. And for me, you know, I have a 56 inch chest, like, and you can see how nice it's fitting on me right now. So I have three M4 mags. I have a pouch for comms, so it'll fit like one of the embitters or one of these uh, Biofang UV5Rs or whatever. So that's cool. You got a pistol pouch and you also got a TQ, all right? Um, very nice if you want, all right? You could change this out, put something else here and put your tourniquet up here, okay? All that laser cut molly. You could even throw another pistol pouch, admin pouch up here. Um, I'm going to actually put a tactical tailor, tailor pouch right on here um, and use this for like DMR and long range kind of stuff. Just have the old uh, admin pouch open up and be able to take notes, throw it in, have a kestrel on me. So kudos to Jay for that. I'm going to wear it throughout the video. None of these mags are loaded, so you don't have to worry about that. But again, um, ease of use, fucking easy holstering. It's good to go on my end, so I'm happy with that. Let's see how this mask fits with a hard-headed veteran's bump helmet as well as a fast helmet. So we're going to check that out right now. First up is the hard-headed veteran's bump helmet. So naturally, we're going to have to change up our clip. Probably have to lengthen it a little bit, but yeah, we'll do that. So this is our hard-headed veteran's bump. And I still have enough protection on here. Check it out from the side. Seems pretty good. We'll try our ops core up next. But yeah, I mean, feels comfortable. I wear all my uh, helmet straps below my chin because of my beard. Um, it's shitty of me, but fuck it, whatever. Ugh. Fuck. 
So for me, I really got to squish this fucker down because I am a big man with a big head. Multiple big heads to be exact. So, let's see if I can get this in there. All right, well, I can't, but this thing is literally suction cupped onto my skull. So, it fits. Like I said, I have a magnum cranium. So, I still have a good seal. So, it can be done, but again, you just have to put the work in and adjust the ship beforehand and size it up. But it could be done. So, let's go ahead and go over some positional shit with all this crap on. Nods and gas masks. These are the reasons why these tool mounts were invented. This is a 1.93 high mount by Reptilia with an MRO on it. So again, if I'm up here, right, I'm gonna have, still have to cant the thing slightly. Um, it is what it is, I'll demonstrate that in a second. But I'm bringing the rifle in to me, okay? If I could pull forward a little bit, all right, while still maintaining some kind of shoulder weld, all right, to gain some distance so that way when this thing recoils, it doesn't kick the mask off or break a seal. So what? Another gun that's safe, clear, and empty. This is an overbore systems, overbore solutions, uh, correction, overbore systems, T2 riser. This is an equivalent to a skyscraper. It's about two, two to two and a quarter. I lost track, but again, it gives you that option to keep it off of you, all right? Bam, bam. Now, what if you don't have a dot? All right, what if you have the trusty K, okay? All you're gonna do, and this is why these things come with these stupid bungees, all right? You can make your own out of webbing, whatever you have to do, all right? You pull out, all right? And this bungee will give you slack, all right? It'll keep it tight enough to where you can look through these sights, all right, without having to break any kind of contact or maintain any kind of chin weld, cheek weld. So it's just something to consider. I still have to cock my head to the side slightly, all right, but it's resting over here and I have a little space over here. So it's actually floating just a little bit, all right, so it's not going to kick the mask off. Again, still trying to keep my face as straight as possible. But look, you're going to have to bend a little bit, all right. Just remember that height over bore, all right? That shot placement, if this thing is kicked out to the side, you might be off a little. Whoa. So guys, my thoughts on this thing, it works. It's a gas mask, all right? I've had it on for a few minutes now. Uh, I don't know the shelf life for the filters. They're not gonna be that long. If they're in a humid atmosphere, it takes time off of that as well. If you're gonna buy, and if you can find them, stock up buy a couple buy two three every six months to a year that way you'll have them as they expire down the road i would even use the expired ones they're mandated by law to put a date on there but uh yeah when you're done with this thing obviously wipe it down keep it in a cool dry area okay um use some kind of like abc wipes or whatever you know antibacterial or something like that Keep it out of direct exposure from the sun. Eventually this rubber could dry rot. If you leave the lenses exposed to light, they'll fade and stuff like that. And yeah, um, a lot of people think these things are good for like atmospheric uh, oxygen deprivation, stuff like that. Like when those uh, football teams go up to Colorado to play. And uh, honestly, that's not going to make you better. It's not going to give you more wind. I've tried that stuff a long time ago when I was in much better shape. And it didn't make me a better athlete. Um, yeah, it does cut down on your peripheral vision. Yeah, it fucks you up. You can't talk as well. But again, um, you know, if you want to go out there and pretend to be something you're not, go ahead. If you think this will take your training to the next level, hey, go ahead. I can't fault anybody for that. The drinking feature, I'm not even going to go through it because I'm never going to use it. But for 200 bucks and change, you can't really go wrong compared to those uh, U.S. military issued M5s, I think they are, or that Air Boss Low Burden. You can see with the helmets, obviously, my ops core, I'm going to have to get like a small piece of webbing with some clips just to give myself like another inch. Um... With my hard-headed veterans bump, not so much. And those things were like smashed down on my head, you know. So 
they do fit. Um, Nod's use, again, it'll work with Nod's. You're just going to have to adjust it beforehand. That way you're not fiddle-fucking with it like I did. Um, optics mounts, the higher the better. Again, just remember that height over bore at like 10 to 15 yards in. Um, laser offset from that height over bore if you're using a constant, you know, you don't have to worry about that. Bottom line is you can have all this stupid cool gear, all right? But if you're not training with it, it's not going to be worth its weight in anything. So shout out to Jason over at Moonlight Industries. Check him out. Those AFT boys just came to his door looking for some uh, fart triggers. They didn't get them. Right on, Jason. We love you, brother. Thank you so much. Guys, check him out. Moonlight Industries. Again, Mirror Safety. Big Dick Ballistics. Check out our link tree. Instagram, YouTube, all right? Help us out. That merch again, it's fire, all right? Remember to vote the right way, educate yourselves, your family, keep on training, stay safe.